over this way just a moment ago, there's a bird feeder right there, and there was a hummingbird. It's uh, maybe the second one I've seen all day today, as opposed to five or ten out here. It's it really tapered off about two to three weeks ago. It got slower and slower. A day or two ago, I saw no hummers during the day. So just stragglers now, the ones that are running down late are coming through. Uh, and they'll, they're all headed to southern uh, uh, Mexico, Central America, northern South America. And most of the birds in North America will be out here, except the ones that are resident along the Gulf Coast and the West Coast. Uh, so you generally won't see one in wintertime. But, but we really advise you to keep your feeder out all winter, at least a feeder out all winter long because there are birds that do not go south for the winter. Uh, they will be coming to the east and southeast or maybe to the west. And uh, we call them out of range birds. Uh, Georgia used to have one hummingbird, the ruby throat, as was thought in the entire Eastern United States. But the research I got involved in a long time ago, uh, probably 15, 18 years ago now, uh, we found out that there's birds here in the wintertime. We found out what they are and why. Uh, some of the birds, uh, Western species, say the rufus, that's normally a Western bird, shows up in the southeast in the wintertime. And they live. They, they get along just fine down here because there's enough insects for them to find. Even with snow on the ground, they're good because they're cold hardy. So keep a feeder out in the wintertime. It doesn't keep your hummingbirds from moving. It simply provides a place to eat for the hummingbirds that are going to come here anyhow. So now Georgia is credited with having about... Uh, 11 or 12 species of hummingbirds. Uh, one, the ruby throat in the summertime, 11 more we have found here during the winter. And we know they survive and come back because through trapping and banding, we can identify the bird. The next year it comes back, it's still got its little ID bracelet on it. We know it's the same bird. So it's been a great learning experience. So keep a feeder out. If you see a hummingbird in the wintertime after mid November, uh, contact one of your local bird stores or contact the local Audubon people and ask them who to report it to. Hello, this is Richard Cole. I want to thank each of you for watching, and I want you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and don't forget to share it.